Good morning, family. It is Wednesday morning, and we want to go ahead and give our devotional thought for today. We've been focusing on evangelism this week, and already we've talked about going uh, under the commission of God, going with compassion for the lost, and now we're going to talk about going to make connections. When we look at the model of evangelism that we receive from our Lord, we know that that model is in four primary pillar points, relationships, rapport, revelation, and results. And when we think about going to make connections, we're talking about developing relationships. Really, that's what a relationship is, a making of connections. And the beautiful part about what God wants you to do is that he creates the people and you move to make connections. Well, how do you do that? Five things that really uh, help you to get it done. Number one, it all begins with your approach. You have to approach every individual trusting that God is up to something. Um, have in your mind and your heart an understanding that every person that God puts in your path is an opportunity for you to do what he's commissioned you to do. So approach them in confidence that God is behind this encounter. So number two, not only do you have to have the right approach, but number two, you have to have an acceptance of the people that are in your life. And when we talk about acceptance, we mean that there has to be a, a base level of respect for people. You don't respect people simply because of what they do to you or whether or not you've earned it. When it comes to disciples, you respect people because God allows them to live. Have enough respect for God to think that if they're here, obviously God expects something out of their life and I can respect the fact that God gave them breath. So my acceptance for every person is because God allowed them to be created in the first place. So have the right approach, uh, accept every individual that you come, in account, uh, come encounter with. But then number three, acknowledgement. Pay attention to the things, your common denominators. Pay attention to where you are. Um, every place around you, every setting that you're in becomes an opportunity for you to have talking points with the people that you're involved with. If you're at the gym, you've got a base level of communication to talk about things that pertain to gyms. If you're in the restaurant, talk about the restaurant. If you're in a PTA meeting, talk about PTA meetings, wherever you are. Pay attention to those common denominators that you have, and that will help you with your approach, that will help you in your acceptance, and certainly the acknowledgement of the things that you have going on around you will give you the uh, all the fuel you need to, to to drum up a good conversation but then number four have the right attitude have an attitude of optimism remember that you are commissioned by the god of heaven and since you're commissioned by the god of heaven think about all the things that god can do don't look at any situation in a pessimistic manner be optimistic remember that god can do a great number of things look what he's done with you look what he's done with the life of every individual you read about in scripture. So move optimistically in this encounter, knowing that God is up to something. Number five, your appreciation in the situation that you're in is probably the most subjective. When you, when you can move in a way where you uh, are working to touch everyone you can, you don't want to be so bogged down in a situation that you fail to realize that there are thousands of others that want to know what you have but be, you're lost in the three that don't want to know. So remember the concept of reciprocity. You keep sowing, you keep giving, but when an individual has shown that they don't want what you have, you move on to the next individual. Those five things will help you to make connections wherever you are. Approach trusting God, have acceptance on the fact that they're here, respect people. Acknowledge the things that you're involved in, that common denominator have the right attitude, have an optimistic, positive attitude about what you're doing. And then number five, appreciation. Know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away and move on to the next individual. I wanna challenge you today, make connections. Go because you've been commissioned, go because you have compassion and now go make connections. Reach out, somebody's looking for King Jesus. And remember that we're in the business of looking for people that are looking for God. God bless you today. Have an awesome, awesome Wednesday. Go back and read Luke chapter 18, verse 35, all the way to Luke 19, verse number 10. 
and see how Jesus moves because he's been commissioned, moves because he has compassion and makes connections with the blind man. And then in 19 with Zacchaeus, have an awesome Wednesday. I'm going to pray for you. You pray for me. Let's get God glory.